All right, this comment is going to be a jump off for my next video. Now, this man, Natsu, is comparing various items to women. Um, Natsu says, makes sense. You want a new car usually. You want new underwear. You don't want underwear someone used. You don't want to pay a current year price for a 2005 car. Younger women look better usually and come with less baggage. You don't have to deal with the sins of multiple exes and baby daddies. So in this sense, in this comment, we are compared to a car and underwear. Okay, there was an article written back in 2009. It was a study that was presented by the American Association of Advancement of Science that shows that men see photographs of scantily clad women and their brain registers women as objects to be acted on. Okay, let's get into it. Princeton, Princeton psychologist Susan Fisk presented findings from a study this past Sunday where she and her colleagues compared heterosexual men's perceptions of scantily clad women, scantily clad men, and fully clothed men and women. And what they found is the 21 male subjects had the best memory for photos of um, sexy bikini clad women. No surprise. They were reacting to these photographs like people react to objects. So Fisk explained that these areas lit up like people typically light up when using tools like a screwdriver. She says, I'm not saying that they literally think these photographs of women are photographs of tools per se or photographs of non-humans. But what the brain imaging data allows us to do is look at the scientific metaphor. They are literally lighting up like women are tools. And you'll see that when they keep referring to us as things that they use. Okay, so they also tested men for high levels of sexism. And the people that scored highest on this were the people that were typically deactivating the part of the brain that thinks about other people's intentions. So these people are not able to sense intention or see us as human, basically. These findings are all consistent with the idea that they are responding to these photographs as if they are responding to objects and not to people with independent agency. Now, obviously, this is not exactly like Natsu's comment, but the fact that these men regularly speak to or speak about women as if we are objects to be used and objects that need to be thrown out, discarded, and got, um, get a new one. It's the exact same thing. It's easier to do harm to an object than it is to do harm to a human. So keep that in mind as these people keep hammering this commentary.